Students of Reddit, have you ever lost your temper with a teacher? What's your story? In Heidelberg on my year abroad my friend and I took a class that we thought would be interesting. It wasn't. The teacher was a complete cow who hated her non-German students, and as we were the only two that semester. Go figure. She was okish with me after learning I was part German, but awful to my friend. We missed two classes overall, had to return to our own universities for a little. This was agreed beforehand so we missed two of her classes. Every other time we went to that class was together so. We missed the same amount. However the woman told my friend she automatically failed her class as she missed three. But I was fine as I'd only missed two. We both decided to never go to her class again, or sit her exam. Oddly enough, that exam never showed up on our year abroad credits, and we both passed with high marks. My second grade teacher was Sister Bridget. She didn't like me at all. One day I was feeling ill, and I asked to use the restroom. She told me I was lying. As she tried to tell me why I was a liar, I vomited all over her shoes. I hadn't been doing well in calculus all year, but I was trying my best and just struggling. My teacher was one of the cool ones the kind who act laid back and crack jokes and all that. I think this guy just thought I wasn't trying, and he was as frustrated with me as I was with myself. One day in class he made a sort of passive aggressive joke at my expense something about if you would just try harder. He didn't even say it in front of other students, just to me, but I was so over him thinking I wasn't trying that I got up and walked straight out into the school counselor's office. I would have been sent there anyway for walking out in class, so I decided to expedite the process. She was really kind and talked me down from being so upset. Anyway, that was on a Friday, so I didn't see my calculus teacher again until Monday. I was hoping we could just pretend it didn't happen, but no such luck. He pulled me into the hallway to talk. And truly, genuinely apologized. He offered to adjust his office hours, which didn't work for me to give me extra help. He ended up helping me pass the class barely, but I still passed. I wouldn't have graduated without it. In retrospect just talking to him more openly from the get-go probably would have been the more mature thing to do, but I was an awkward, self-doubting teenager who didn't know how to ask for help. In the end the experience helped me improve that skill and advocate for myself. I still hate calculus though. We got this admin in my school who we'd nicknamed the Pickinator. In my sophomore year she was patrolling the school, fucking Dolores Umbridge style. She loves ruining kids' days, and she busts kids for the most minor of things. This really annoying kid no one likes came up and snatched my backpack and ran. So I ran after him and ripped it out of his hands. Pickinator comes outside and immediately says you two, stop wrestling around and come with me she escorted us to the office because apparently we were wrestling and fighting. Tried to tell her I was just getting my shit back and she wasn't having it. So I just said well got my shit back no reason to stick around now and went to my next class which was starting shortly. I got called down later anyway but my admin pretty much told me she overreacted and to just forget it happened. Pickinator hates me now. I once had some kind of stomach pain, the worst pain I felt my whole life and was in science class. I started groaning in agony in first fucking row and my bud next to me said I needed to leave and go to the hospital. I wanted to but my teacher the cunt ignored me and the tears that had now started streaming down my face. A minute later I just stood up, walked to the door and as soon as she tried to talk shit I told her to pipe the fuck down and walked out with a raised middle finger. Then I proceeded to throw up in the trash outside, good times. 8th grade science class. God I hated her. For the sake of this, let's say her name was Mrs. Early on in the year, Mrs. B had given us a science fair project due in January. We had several class periods over the course of those months as well to work on it. My project was creating an unbeatable tic-tac-toe program, did work properly but that's beside the point right now. Because it would take significantly longer to have 20 people, the amount of tests we had to do each play three rounds with the thing so I asked her if I could do fewer and she agreed. Allowing me to only do seven people which I got done shortly before Christmas break. Only about one and a half school weeks until the project was due. I make sure to thank her for letting me do fewer as I would never have gotten it done in time otherwise. She turns to me with this confused look as says something to the effect of I never said that, you have to do 20 trials like everyone else. I was so insanely furious, I even got a witness who had overheard her give me a lower number come in as evidence. Both me and my witness ended up in detention. I did end up getting the project done but barely and it was rushed as hell. I still occasionally think of it and want to punch a wall. My IT teacher wanted to inspect my work, spreadsheets or a Word document or something, anyway she accidentally deleted the file. 
I was upset, and tried to point out she just deleted my work. She started to shout at me telling me I should have saved frequently, I shouted back telling her that wasn't the issue, she outright deleted the file. It got pretty heated. My parents were called. We were outright yelling at each other for a good couple of minutes to the point where we were both in tears. I was about 14 at the time. She should have known better. A few years later my sister had her when she went to that school and that same teacher berated my sister calling her names etc. What a bitch. Edit it was a long time ago and I was pretty stressed at the time, I can't remember exactly how but after several attempts, I wasn't able to restore it. Looking back with what I know now, there are things I could have done to restore it now, even going as far as giving myself admin rights and having a poke around. But I was 14 at the time being taught I. By a French teacher. I had a bout of stomach flu which was so intense that it damaged my intestines, and as a result my body couldn't process certain foods for a while. This caused me severe pain. I mainly had cramps that were so bad I couldn't do anything useful anymore except curl up and wait for them to be over. It took me more than a month to figure out a very limited amount of safe stuff to eat, which I ended up slowly expanding on over time. I did miss a few weeks of school when it first started though. Directly after my math teacher's class she insisted I come to her and explain why I missed so many of her classes. I had a note for my GP ready, but she dismissed it. She told me she could tell that I wasn't sick, but that I was just lazy and lying to everyone and that she was severely disappointed in me. I literally just walked away, which is the closest I ever got to having a temper tantrum in class. In retrospect I wish I had told her what I was really thinking, being that I was very disappointed in her. When I was a senior in high school I had an AP English teacher that would grade people based on how much she liked them essentially. I had long hair and stretched earlobes and she despised me even though I was an excellent student in all aspects. She claimed I didn't turn in assignments on time to justify my grades so I spoke with my guidance counselor and she investigated for me. Turns out she had sorted completed assignments into piles of good and bad and would arbitrarily grade the papers based on who she felt sucked up to her the most that day. I presented a book report on the Odyssey which was by far the longest and most detailed presentation of the whole class, and she gave me a D. I told her fuck you, this is the end of your career and walked out because I had sent an identical copy to the guidance counselor. She presented it to the school board, eventually got her fired, and the best part was she was also a driver's ed instructor and lost her job doing that as well. Apparently I wasn't the first to speak up about her but I was the one that out the nail in the coffin and it felt great. Ah yes. A long time ago in third grade we were having a math lesson, and our para was helping our teacher out. I wasn't great at math at that young age and I would ask her for help and then she would ignore me and move on to a different student. I finally got her attention and asked her if she could please help me and she finally said yes and then moved on to a different student so I got pissed and slammed my fists on the desk. The whole room went silent and I said, I need help on my math can I please have some help? The principal came down and talked to me and asked why I did that because I got reported for being disruptive. She was really nice and I never got sent to the principal's office before and I told her what happened and she gave a death glare to the para. A friend of mine wanted to go to a certain university that was out of state and somewhat tough to get into. The counselor told him not to waste his time as he would never get in. This pissed him off so he went to the principal, who told him to trust the counselor as that was her job. He applied anyways, got accepted, and taped two copies to the counselor and principal's door. He couldn't afford to go anyways, but he was trying to prove a point. I once flipped on my German teacher, I'm German. She obviously didn't like me and her marks were biased as fuck. This one time she gave me an F on a poetry interpretation. Grading that is ridiculous as you can just interpret it as whatever and the mark depends on the teacher's mood. I always got an A for grammar, because the bitch has to give me credit where my work is quantifiably good. After handing the papers back out to the students she did some debriefing about the whole thing, comparing what everyone wrote. She told the whole class how good my thoughts on the poem and some of the passages that I wrote were and wanted me to read out loud what I wrote. I just said you gave me an F, stood up and left. Cunt. When I was in high school we had this small angry teacher that played rugby, or ATLEs tried to, that was always belittling students to feel better about himself. One day we had physical ed and our teacher couldn't come, so the little and always moody teacher that played rugby came to replace her. Little teacher was trying to show off his skills at rugby and making our class play some game where we had to tackle who had the ball. We didn't tackle hard enough so the little guy joined to tackle some students and show off his grandness. He was having fun being unstoppable and yelling at us if that was all we could do. 
I was kinda mad so I just went running at full speed at him. Little teacher got tackled and hit the ground so hard. That was something our class laughed about all year. Added for those wondering, he used to despise and treat us like he was reaffirming his manliness, though he had some good points too and was kinda crazy. It didn't seem like a student-teacher relationship so it wasn't that boring most of the time. I guess that's the reason why most of us still remember that little moody teacher. My 8th grade math teacher. She was the absolute worst and ruined any appreciation I had for mathematics forever. She'd purposely skip chapters and mark correct answers wrong if you wrote numbers a certain way. For example, you never put that little dash at the top of your number 7s or your answer was wrong. Also pop quizzes. She had this rule where a pop quiz could cover any material out of the book even if it was something we hadn't gone over yet. And it's not like we could take the book home to study. It was one of those classes where the textbook had to be left in the classroom. I just quit doing any work for her after that. It royally pissed her off. I had a teacher at private college that enjoyed calling everybody stupid and that we were only studying there because our parents showed how much they earned. There were a lot of scholarship students, myself included, but who cares? I can't be quiet when I hear these kind of things so we discussed almost every class. She failed most of the class on the first course, we fought with the dean and she let us do another test, with another teacher. Everybody passed. On the second course she gave us, same thing, but this time the dean said we were being dramatic. The teacher decided that there would not be a test, only a group presentation. She settled the groups. I got stuck with two lazy guys who did nothing, I did the entire paper and the presentation. Both of them got a 9, and I got a 7, C-, it was the last time I did a paperwork with the names of the people who did nothing, no matter who they were. I netted a C to pass, failed because of a point. I tried to talk to the dean, she didn't listen to me. So I had to do the course again. I could do it with another teacher, but I chose her. I was the worst student she ever had. I sat in the first row, always made a fool of her, once I made her cry. The next year she wasn't a teacher there anymore. She made me lose my scholarship because of that grade. I do not regret it, would do it again with an extra bit of cruelty. When I was in 8th grade my science teacher decided the day before the last test of the year to give us an extra 16 pages of new material to learn by ourselves and appear in the test. Needless to say everyone lost their shit and started complaining. I wrote her an angry letter, I was later forced either to apologize or they would tell my parents. I apologized because I may have been a little inappropriate and by the end of the year she was fired after her first year in the school. She also thought it was a good idea to bring her dogs to part of the lessons in the science lab, when there are two kids who are allergic to dogs. I flipped my shit on a logic professor who lost my assignments records. You didn't do them. I'm looking at your grades and they are zeros that's why you have AD. Me look you dipshit, I have papers you've graded right here. They aren't even good, but they are not zeros. It was over the phone, but eventually I read through his comments on my papers while he was trying to argue with me. That's when he's like okay. That doesn't sound made up. Scan your papers and email them in. Went from a D to a B. After months of failing me because I couldn't do the problems his way, which multiple tutors told me was the hardest way of learning and most of his two classes were failing. He accused me of cheating on the final exam. It's two weeks before I graduate high school, I've been failing because you and the administration have your heads up your asses, and you think I'm gonna cheat on the final fucking exam? Fuck you. Not me, but a girl flipped shit on my economics professor cause she kept cancelling class without sending out emails. The girl only had that class on Fridays and drove an hour to get there. It sucks she got caught in traffic, just to get a note next to the classroom saying cancelled. I had a history teacher in high school who claimed the following America caused the Holocaust. Americans did the Pearl Harbor attack just to join the war. JFK was planted by the Soviets 9-11 was an inside job, I know. Common meme the icing on the cake was when Chris Kyle was murdered. She says nobody cares about dead soldiers and proceeded to spend an hour covering the life and career of Whitney Houston. I got up and walked out of the room at that point. She left after one year there. Did a math test and on the paper you could only mark your answer, you had to do the calculations on another paper. Long story short, my teacher lost my calculations paper and wouldn't admit it. He said I didn't hand it over, that I cheated in some other crap. So I went to the school supervisor and asked to take the test again and she let me. My teacher asked to look while I did the test, he made another test, way harder. I freaking aced it, right on front of him. 
He hated my guts for the rest of high school and I couldn't care less. Edit still don't understand why we couldn't do calculations on the main paper. There was a high school English teacher, Ms. Blades, who was ignoring me for a while. It's worth mentioning that she didn't really like me for some reason. I wasn't a bad or annoying kid, in fact, I was very non-confrontational and mostly kept to myself in and out of class, so I don't know what that was about. Anyway, I had my hand up because I had to use the bathroom and she kept pacing about the room, answering other kids questions, but would glance at me and immediately look away. After about 5 minutes with my hand up and getting ignored, and about to shit my pants, I whistled as loud as I could. Interrupting anyone was completely out of character for me. Well, once upon a time, I had a chipped one of my front teeth, so I could whistle extremely loud because of it. My whistle was just that. It was the whistling equivalent of firing a gun in a closed room. Absolutely deafening. The entire room got quiet and she snapped her head around so fast. As her name might suggest, Miss. Blades was staring daggers into my face. Then one kid goes. Ooh. He just called you a dog. Ooh. Then she gained serious momentum from that one off and said. Oh. I don't think so. You think I'm a dog? You think I'm a dog? I got sent to the principal's office for disrespecting an ignorant teacher. I used the bathroom on the way there. I know a chap who once lost it in a lesson and threw a chair at the teacher. Some years, like 15 or so back, and the two are now good friends. Essentially, a discussion had turned into an argument. Holding up the rest of the lesson. With the chap basically being awkward and pedantic. Not letting it go. Getting unduly steamed up himself and apparently not realizing that everyone was getting pretty tired. The teacher made some snide remark and the chap flipped, threw a chair and walked out. He waited outside though cooling off, and afterward the teacher went outside as well, said something to the effect of I think we both ought to apologize for what just happened and so they did. And all was well. In high school I answered every question on an Algebra 2 exam correctly, but got a 90%. I went through the test and there was not a single marking of a wrong answer. So I asked the teacher why I had lost 10%, and he told me that because I used pen, there was 10% taken off. I lost it. I must have spent 5 minutes trying to tell him how a test should be solely about my ability to demonstrate my understanding of the material, which I clearly grasped very well. And his final argument was that in college I would never get away with taking a test in pen. Two years later I came back with my Calculus 3 exam, which I had taken in pen, and let him take a look at my fat 